Alright guys, welcome back. I did a little off-camera farming and my computer wants me to upgrade to Windows 10. Don't do it, it's awful. <laughs> Not sure if that showed up on the screen, but if it did, hey. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, did some off-screen farming. I uh, went and upgraded my life gauge the rest of the way. Also upgraded the shitty grenade arm to max power. Because you're following through on your dare. Yeah, but um, just gonna head back into the Carter Ruins. Uh, also bought a. Well, we got the jump springs, which makes my jumping super high, and got the flak jacket, uh, reduces damage that I take. And... Are those little girl bathroom signs that are attacking you? Well, what? It looks like the you know the. The girl bathroom signs with the little dress and everything. Sure. Sorry that my creative mind is just too intense for you. Um, yeah, go ahead. Take that. Hole in the wall, and it's money. And another hole in the wall, it is money. A lot of money, actually. Nice. I want holes in my wall with money. I can put holes in the wall. I can put, like, you know, I got a jug of change. I can throw it in there. That sound good? Is it gonna be nine thousand four hundred something dollars? Uh, I think I got like ten bucks. Mm, that counts. I'm really poor right now. Yep, buying a house does that. Does that? <laughs> I'm just. Did drunk. I just put a lot of whiskey in your drink? Probably. Uh, so we're gonna go through some. This is a uh, sub ruin. It's uh, it's connected to the Carden ruins. Basically, there are three main ruins in the entire game, and there are sub ruins, which connect all of them together. And. Oh, trap box. It's gonna try to kill me. It's doing a terrible job. Yeah, it's stationary. And basically, each ruin and sub ruin are connected in some way or another. You pretty much get across the entire map by going through these places. Lots of travel. I got the Buster, <laughs> which I believe is a Buster part. I uh, also bought some other Buster parts. Uh, attack one, range two. Yeah, let's do I'll do that later. And we're gonna. Money. Money. This is why I like the vacuum mark, because I don't have to do all this shit to pick up money. Too bad you have to use the grenade arm. I'm going to change it eventually. I mean, in fact, for the next big boss fight we're coming up to, I'm going to change to a completely different weapon, because this will actually hinder me more than anything. But that's the whole point. You're just so good that you need to be hindered a little bit. Um, not quite. Why does it go right between his fucking legs? Look at that shit. <laughs> See, super strong. It's got the same damage as the splash mine, and it costs more to upgrade than the powered buster, which is actually not terrible on damage by comparison. Shh, it's the best arm in the game. No, no, it's not. And we're gonna go through here. This actually takes us to, if you remember, the first little ruin we went to, where we saved the guy. In video games, what's like the best weapon? Like out of all in video of games in general? All of the video games. Oh Jesus! All the games that have video. Uh. <laughs> See, I'm not even talking because I can't process that much information at once. <laughs> I mean, there's. So many weapons in so many different games. This wall is able to be destroyed by the, a great weapon in a video game that you should come up with. By the drill arm. Drill arm is not great. Drill <laughs> arm is terrible. Um, I just went back exactly where I came from. We're gonna spend ten minutes of this episode running in circles. See, the only video games that I really have played are like Pokemon and Duke Nukem and. Duke Nukem is a, res a respectable game. Well, yeah, but like I can't really think of really awesome weapons or anything. 
I mean, Duke Nukem did have the holy hand grenade, which was pretty awesome. Obviously, the answer is the Keyblade, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, no. Keyblade is really not that fantastic. I love Kingdom Hearts. It was a fun game, but... Fuck you guys. I'm just... Ignore you, and you, and you, and you. It's kind of like Resident Evil, where you can just dodge zombies. You're not doing a very good job of answering my question. I know. Um, it, it's really... It's just too broad of a question. It really is. Because you have different genres and bullshit in video games. I mean... Okay, if you had to defend against the oncoming zombie apocalypse, which weapon would you want? Oh, shit. Um, See, now it's a little bit more, you know, dedicated to zombies and your own survival. Hold on. Kill him with grenades. Um, I mean, for the oncoming zombie apocalypse, I'd like to have probably something similar. Probably something similar to the laser sword arm thing. I want something to really kill zombies and not have to be reloaded. Yeah. And not have to A laser sword wouldn't need a lot of Actually, movements. I take it back. Um, the best weapon would be the uh, camouflage in order to tell the zombies are not going to see me. I would just walk in. I wouldn't even do shit. And for sake of. Using that, I would also get the bandana from Metal Gear Solid because it would give me infinite ammunition. Mm. Those aren't actually weapons, though. So those are like accessories. Um, what else was down here that I was gonna get? Right, there's another door. But really, like for zombie apocalypse, you're gonna have to have a large variety of weapons because. You need to be able to take care of the weapons you have, or maintain them in some form or another, and it's really hard to do sometimes, especially with guns. You need to clean them, have oils and shit. And well, I never. What? I mean, what would you have for a zombie apocalypse or a weapon? Well, I don't really know anything about video games. Um, this isn't a video game, really. This is a fun. This is zombie apocalypse related. Okay. So it's I don't have to pick, like, hmm. I can go with, like, movies and stuff. There's a hypothetical lesson for me. I'm not exactly good at, like, close combat, I guess. Like, I feel like I would freeze. So okay. I would probably want something ranged. Um, okay. I like the idea of like a, a a crossbow or something, but I also know that I wouldn't necessarily be able to go up and grab all of the different crossbows and I would or bolts and I would end up running out. Mm -hmm. This problem with range range to anything is you have a finite amount of ammunition. Even with crossbows and bows and arrows and break, you would have to make or find work. And you have to be good with accuracy. It would obviously have to be like slow zombies. You wouldn't be able to really do the running zombies because then eventually you're going to be close range. Of course. And so yeah, I mean, next question. <laughs> Ninja stars. That's an awful answer. I know. <laughs> Especially because those don't actually do anything. Also because I've been to Renaissance festivals, I'm terrible with those things. Yeah. Well, that was axe throwing, the last one. No, I've also done the ninja stars, oh, okay. and I was also terrible with those. I don't remember where any of this shit leads to. Uh, we're just kind of wandering around exploring. Uh, and actually getting prepped for the next big boss fight coming up. The funny thing is, like, with throwing weapons, like, I really do have terrible aim, but I've been to a shooting range before, and I actually had pretty decent range with that. Well, of course you have range. Right no, not range, sorry. Accuracy. 
Oh, wrong okay, word. That one. Yeah, that was the wrong word. Yeah, come on, come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! You got through. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like he learned. <laughs> this is why these guys are very good in like close quarters. Um, now watch, I'm not gonna be able to get through this for shit. I guess taking all of that into account and the fact that I'm actually really terrible with ranged weapons, uh -huh. I would probably just go with like something like a sword. Doesn't run out of ammo. It's gonna break. Sharp. It's gonna get dull. You're gonna have to sharpen it, you're gonna have to maintain it. I mean, That's not too hard though. Mm -hmm. You sharpen it up against a stone or something, there's gonna be, you know, unlimited access to stones. Now, what kind of sword are you talking? Actually, hold that thought. We're gonna stop the episode here and continue this conversation. But I don't know swords. That's okay. 